Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you some quick new way to level up and get cash in Reason to Die Awakening because I realized that now with the new updates, there's a lot quicker ways than just grinding and spamming Void Farm or whatever the hell else. So, you guys probably already know about this, but Reason to Die now has contracts. So if you go to the store and you just like move your mouse over here, it'll pop up and you click it. You can buy these contracts for a set amount of cash, and then once you do, you get a certain amount of experience for completing it. And the cool thing about this is, if you happen to have double XP when you're doing these, when you complete the task, if you have double XP, you get the double experience it shows in the task. So if it shows you get 2400 for getting 50 headshots with the beret, you're actually going to get, you know, like twice that amount. So that's pretty cool, you get 4,800 experience from just one task as opposed to 2,400, and the same goes with all these. Uh, a lot of people are doing the 2,500, 5,000 one, but in my personal experience, I find that in about 20 minutes, you can complete the headhunter with the Brett 50 cal, with just, you know, whatever the hell you have, and you can also complete the 100 kills with Brett 50 cal. 20 minutes for both of them combined, you know. There you go, that's more experience than you would get from this. So, um, what I've been doing is I would get double experience on Fridays, and then I would go in and get these two tasks each day, and then log out, so I save my double XP, and then the next day I go and do these two tasks again. So essentially I would be getting 10% uh, to 20% of my experience needed to rank up as an HR from one day to another so basically in one week i'm ranking up which is pretty cool um m249 and mini uzi are good if you want to be doing the large confirmed kills and all you really have to do is go into single player mode and do player versus environment and then you're pretty much set so uh what the hell okay trees disappear uh, but anyway so if you go in here and you're just waiting for zombies to spawn you're probably like oh well eventually you're gonna die from these guys right well the thing is the ai's are extremely stupid first of all they don't really walk in the right direction and second of all when they do you can just kind of make a little box around them and they just follow you in a circle and you can do this with any number of zombies really you can have two and you could do this you could have three you could have four you could have five you could have six i've done it with like 20 of them and um, I was going to record it, but I couldn't exactly start recording when I had so many of them following me around. So let's see at the beginning of the round how many we can get. Right now I'm actually doing the 250 confirmed kill task, simply because I wanted to try out the M249 with hip fire. But I will clip this and show you guys the barrette tasks. All you really need to do for headshots is play in third person, and then leave your cursor right above where their head would be and position your camera so all you have to do is strafe to hit them. So you just go whoop, all dead, yay. And um, for headshots, I just like keeping them right between my hats, you know, like my horns, and then shooting right at them and just moving my camera. Um, so that way it's perfectly positioned every single time and all I have to do is use the A and the D keys to line it up. So just go boom, headshot. Boom, boom. With the hip fire, my range is uh, drastically decreased here to compensate for stability. So uh, you're probably like, why is Zoom 249 not hitting him that far away? Well, it's because the range is so bad. If I try to shoot this guy that far, oh, that worked. Apparently, the range is like 80 on it now. So. Yeah, I don't think I can hit him that far. No, I can't. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this task, and then I'll show you what it looks like with the Brett to get some points. Um, again, I can show you where the ammo boxes are and the med kits if you just want to get through this quick. So for this map, these are only, there are only two really common maps, there's Prison and uh, this one. I wouldn't recommend playing any other ones. So this is uh, one of the medkits here. And um, the other ones, there's one in the little shed back there. Jesus, these guys. 
There's one in this little house over here, and there's two in the farm, farmhouse over there. So the one inside this house is just right inside, right there. You have an ammo box in the back, which is handy. Uh, there's an ammo box in the front up here. Let's go ahead and drop a grenade on these guys. There we go. And um, as you can see, there's one over here where I just was next to the little tent there, right there. Uh, there's one on the other side of the bridge. And then there's one up there on top of the little mountain as well. But I wouldn't really recommend going up there because you get trapped. Same with the other side of the little mountain. Uh, here's an ammo box inside the farm, which is nice. And you can make them kind of fall down the ladder if you just time it right. They'll just drop down and they can't really do anything. Um, here are the two little med kits. And now you can just kind of like camp in here and shoot them when they try to go up the ladder. But they never really figure it out, so you're kind of set. Anyway, that's this map. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here and show you the next one. Well, that didn't take very long at all. So anyway, as you can see, I just got 1,200 experience from that one thing. And if you do that when you have double experience, you're going to get 2,400. So that's a pretty dang good deal. And I'm going to go ahead and reset and go over to prison. So let's check that out. Alright, so Fox River Prison is pretty much the same idea. But the thing with this is the map is so small that I would definitely recommend bringing the hip fire if you're going for a large amount of confirmed kills with the M249. Uh, it's great for farming cash. You get about 100 cash in a minute or two. Uh, hip fire drastically increases the accuracy, so the bolts will go right where you click. So since the map is tiny, range doesn't matter at all, and it makes sense to use that. I would go with mini Uzis or something like the Rambo that has low energy, so that way you can just make zombies not damage you. That way you have a little bit of an invincibility frame. With mini Uzis, it's nice because then if zombies are rushing at you, you can just bring it out and spray them down, finish them off after you've hit them a couple times with the M249 or whatever. And if you're going for barrette kills, well obviously you just bring the barrette and something to keep zombies away like the Rambo, low energy, you know, you could go with baseball bat, toy sword, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and buy the barrette contract and go right in. So in the Fox River Prison, here's a couple easy tips to get you going. First of all, the first mag kit is right inside, close to the spawn. You get uh, good two items. If you get two of the same items, you just come back later after you used one. Just remember where they are. Uh, the zombies tend to go for this fence when you first spawn in, so they won't really target you. And you can just do some easy parkour stuff to get around them. Uh, there's an ammo box here that's nice and helpful. There's another one up top, right there. Another med kit inside here. And um, if you ever run out of ammo, you can go ahead and get ammo through the side of the wall here. If you go up to it and press R. And there's another spot where you can do that over on this side. Same deal. Now that's all the ammo boxes in this map and the med kit locations. Then you can go ahead and wait on the flat part of the map and line up the heads with your cursor perfectly. Uh, just watch out if they jump, wait for them to land again. And you can go ahead and just get a whole bunch of headshots. You get a lot of cash from doing this too, because if you imagine you get 5 per kill, 5 times 50, that's about $250 right there. So if you're doing this long enough, you actually get a decent amount of cash, which is nice. Also keep in mind the bright goes through multiple zombies. So be careful if you're trying to do the headshot task, because it's harder to get them to line up perfectly. You might want to do them individually, pick them off away from the groups. That'll save you some precious time. Especially if you have double XP going, and you're trying to do everything as quick as possible, so you can have that experience the rest of the week. So now you're just going to have to go ahead and wait for more zombies to spawn, and you just keep doing that until you hit 50. <clears throat> So that's all there is to it. 
and happy farming guys I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and show you guys after I get my experience and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other tasks so that way I can rank up hope this helps you guys let me know down in the comments what I can do for you peace So that didn't take too long at all, and there's my free experience points. Now I can just go ahead and kill some of these guys off, and get the next task. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, the only thing you really have to worry about is the time it takes to complete some of these tasks, and also your cash, because obviously it costs a certain amount of cash to buy the things. But, I don't know if you noticed, I got... 496 cash from just doing that one task so you know it pretty much pays itself off i hope this helps you guys out and i'll see you all next time peace